so let's see an example of creating table okay so first one is create table table name we understand now I have tried to accommodate uh, so many attributes and uh, all the constraints possible okay so first one is EID so EID will be acting as primary key so what I will do is okay prime EID will be primary key and that that's why it has to be written with the constraint not null okay that is this key cannot be null right you understand this fine so this is not null fine now the next one is name and the data type is var char 15 fine and again this this is also not null for 6 we have default value as m okay and I mean if the for a record we are not specifying what is the sex it will automatically set m as sex value now we have department number and that will be small int okay and this department is basically foreign key so we are specifying here department is foreign key fine foreign key is department number which is referencing okay so we have to specify like the, this references department department ID means it is referring to department ID attribute of this department table okay fine now on delete uh, of course the primary key we are specifying is primary key is EID okay so EID is primary key now what we are doing is on delete on delete as we have foreign key here okay so we have to specify what will happen if we are trying to delete this attribute value fine so on delete it will set as set the value as null and if we are updating so if we are trying to update this value it will cascade it okay so we have this employee table this is the employee which we have just created and we have department so let's say this is department okay and now this is id department id d e p i d and this is name fine and here this this department id is referring to this fine now if i am updating let's say id1 is cse fine if i am updating this value cse then update will be cascade so let's say here for a record we have one fine and this is referring to of course this value now i'm updating for cse i'm updating one to let's say 11 then update will be cascaded okay so it will be also updated and it will become 11 fine but if I am deleting this value, if I am deleting CSE department, then what will happen here? It will assign this field as null. Okay. So you can see on delete set null. Okay. So if I am deleting this record, set this as null. And if I am updating this record, okay, then cascade that is update this value also. Fine. So this was the example on create table on next lecture we will do a illustration and we will create table on our database which we have already created inside on our local machine that is on our local server so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching